Hi everyone, in today's video I'll be going over this quick script that I created and you can basically create a building grid line with slab and you can adjust the spacing in between, you can change the number of base and you could also come here and adjust the number of uh, floors. So it's just a quick idea of how you can sketch a structural building and then on the outside you can uh, go ahead and create a skin. But for now we'll just be going over this. Okay, so let's get started with today's tutorial. Uh, we're gonna make a building and we're gonna use it. We're gonna make it uh, using grid. So let's go here to grid and let's go to rectangular grid. And let's pick an X. So let's go uh, first here, let's go to units. And let's see what we're working with. So let's go to inches because that's what I'm used to working with. But you can use any units. Right here, let's go to a 20 foot um, grid and we'll multiply that by 12 to get it into feet or into inches so 20 feet times 12 gives us 240 inches and in that it's going to be our size for the X and our size for the Y and our default extents X and Y is going to be 10 and 5 and we can uh, create a slider here of 10 so we can make make it for now a um, square square grid and actually we can make a copy here and go to size y and we can change this later on down the road for now we'll keep it at 20 to keep it simple and so that's going to be um, how we're going to be creating our structure is going to be based on a on a grid so let's go ahead and create um, some circles and these circles are going to be put right on the points and the radius, let's say a 12 inch radius to give it a 24 inch diameter. And that, those are going to be our columns. Now, if you want them to be square, um, one thing I, you could do to make it sit directly in the center is we can go to a rectangle. If I'm not mistaken, you can plug this into there. Oh, no. So let's, let's try the other rectangle. Let's see if that one works. No. So what we're going to do is actually create a bounding box. So let's go to box and it'll actually create that. So that box you can extrude up and if you want them to be square uh, columns, but if you want them to be round, you can just extrude the circle. So let's move ahead and, and see how this adjusts. Yeah, everything's still working out. So let's go ahead and extrude the grid line so actually we have a little bit too much on the extents let's go to five keep it like a little bit smaller simpler building and let's go here and extrude these bounding boxes and the z direction and we can copy the slider down so we can give it a height of about 12 feet And there we have the columns that have been arrayed throughout the grid. And we can also adjust the radius of it. So we can come over here to the, to the radius of the circle and change that. And if we wanted to, we could extrude um, the circles instead. So let's, if we were to delete that, we could just extrude the circle. So we have options as to uh, what we can choose for our structure. Okay, so since we have now the structure, we can focus on creating the bottom slab. So the bottom slab is gonna be created using um, the X is 10 or the X is 20 and then the extent is five. So we have to multiply 20 times five so we can get the extent of the bottom. So let's go to rectangle and you'll understand what I mean. So if we have a multiplication between 20 and 5 then we can plug that into the X and have the X be that extent and we can plug that into the Y and there we have basically a rectangle that goes all the way to the center point now we need to offset this curve 
out the same amount as the radius of the pipe oh, wrong one and now we put that rectangle directly on the outside and we can go ahead and hide the grid and we see that we have that there now it's just a matter of taking this curve extruding it down and doing the same thing uh, for the top here now the other thing is that we have this offset as a default of 12 but we can easily go to uh, plus if you go to plus here it'll create an addition so we can go to 12 and we can add any other number here uh, to offset a larger amount so let's go to 24 and I'm going to offset 12 plus 24 and that's going to give me um, let's see if it gives me that and if I plug it into that distance it'll give me 24 inches outside of that and if we go back to zero it gives, goes to zero so this allows me to offset the, the slab so let's go to zero here and let's take this curve and go to boundary surface hide the curve and then we can extrude we can basically copy that bottom part and extrude so it's extruding that same height, but let's go back down to a smaller number, like a six inch slab. Let's go to zero dot 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 36, and we can just pick, let's say 12. But as you can see, it's gonna extrude it up, and we want it to actually extrude it down. So what we can do is come here and go to negative, and make it go in the opposite direction. Now at this point, if we want to create more floors, all we have to do is just take this and create a series of copies up. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's create a move. And we're going to move the slab. And we're going to move the structure. And we're going to go in the Z direction. We're going to create a series. We're going to step. It's going to be the this number plus this number. So let's go to an addition. It's going to be the height of the beam or the columns plus the height of the slab and that's going to give us 156 inches which is going to be our step and we have to go here to graft make sure everything works correctly and we can hide everything here and now we have a series of floors that we've just moved up um, now we can go ahead and hide everything else here and see there we have it now the count here is going to give us the number of floors so from one to ten we can see we can say we just want one floor two floors three floors four floors and up and then ultimately we can come here and say Uh, create the top part uh, using a different uh, method so we can either put the slab at the bottom and then copy it up or we can put it at the top and then copy it up either way it works but I'm, I'm starting to think that it might be better for me to move the slab up before we create the series so I'll show you how to do that right now I'll actually take this and I'll delete it and I'll come back here and bring back the structure let's see if we can bring back the slab and let's move so I'm gonna move the slab up in the Z direction this same amount why because what it is is we're going to move up 
the height, basically the same height of the slab and the height of the column. So it'll be the same height that we move up. And so we can take away the series here and see that we have now the slab instead of at the bottom, we have it at the top. And we can take that and we can now move. Oh. Now we can move both the slab, the columns, in the Z direction, this same amount. And we can take these two originals and we can go ahead and spacebar and hide them. And we always come back here and we graft. So let's come back here and organize our script. And there we have we've created that uh, structure system that is actually going up and it creates a roof at the top. So we can come here at this one and then we can extrude or this one we can extrude in the Z direction. which amount it's going to be actually 12 it's going to be the same as the slab so actually this is going to come down here could we could just use that one instead and bring in that boundary surface and there we have the bottom slab to complete our our uh, at least the structure for our building and so the next step is going to be creating the outside skin but for for today i wanted to show you um, basically how to create a structure that we can come here and adjust the spacing in between we can adjust the extents so we can say we want you know eight base or we want four base and then we can come here and always come to the offset curve and we have it at zero and this is going to be really cool because we can now offset almost 10 feet to the outside and then this will give us the ability to possibly create a skin on the outside or something like that and we could always come here and say we want less floors so we want you know we want it to be a three floor or we can come here and say uh, we want it to be seven floors so that's uh what i wanted to show in this tutorial today if you're an architect or a designer and uh, you want to create some quick sketches of buildings or you have a, a engineer that gives you the structural grid or the structural uh, floor building, you can do a quick sketch of it this way and it's 100% accurate. You can just come here and go to bake. And if I just kind of hide it, you'll see that it's um, it's a pretty, pretty nice, uh, perfect building. And obviously we can come in here and do additional, uh, maybe like the waffle structure or something like that. but. Uh, that'll be in a future video and I hope you enjoyed and learned something in this tutorial and let me know if you have any questions. Appreciate you coming by and thank you for watching.